yet Just why taste so yeah I guess it makes me smile I found it hard It was hard to find Well, whatever, never mind Bandinos, we're live. It is Monday, May 8th, just shy of 6 p.m., streaming from the Pacific Northwest. And tomorrow is a, sort of a big day because the final manhunt target, Stovepipe, is actionable. We can now take him down. So technically, two, two targets we got. And then also, uh, title update 17.3 launches. But today's focus is is going to be primarily on this new manhunt. So we're going to recreate or try to create what we consider a stovepipe build and then toggle through a few other builds that I might actually run to take him down. That's the objective. Let's go. Ready? Okay.
Okay, here we are, Banditos, with another Build Lab live stream. Hey, so the newest build is pinned at the top of the chat, so be sure you check that out. It is the Unwavering SMG build. Very, very fun. And Unwavering is pretty badass. The perfect stack gives you 400% weapon handling, non perfect 300%, and it's only available on SMGs. And it's very interesting what you can do with that beast. And so I invite you to take a look at that video, have some fun with it. And um, yeah, let's get on with this stream. So Stovepipe, Stovepipe, if you guys are familiar with this season's manhunt, uh, we've got quite a few targets that we've already, I guess, prepped in my case. So I like to kind of stack them up. So my objective tomorrow is to take all these bad boys down in a single stream. And I'll probably be doing this around 10 or 10.30 tomorrow morning. Pacific Standard Time. So if any of you are around and want to join me on this adventure, I invite you to come kick it with me. I'm on the Xbox. And um, yeah, so around 10, 10 30, roughly, give or take, you know, we'll probably get warmed up. I might take down some of these basic tasks just to prep it. But I like the experience of taking on all the manhunts, all the all the critical targets in a row it kind of makes you feel like you're playing a whole new dlc so i sort of pleasure delay on these so i'm sure some of you have already taken down the actual bosses here but i haven't so we'll we'll have auntie also unlocked and so with her will come some uh preliminary tasks so we have to take out i'll have to take out those and then we have to take out her and that'll unlock stovepipe and so there's that chest piece there's some um debate out there on the in the community and what this chest piece is is it an exotic is it a skin what do you guys think um my hunch is is probably just a skin because they gave us two exotics and i and, and we did ask would there be an exotic locked behind a manhunt and they said no so um so i think that's just a skin anyways that's my thought and we did we did talk to morton directly about that whole locking things behind a manhunt target and he said he said they're not going to do that. So, I mean, but unless there, it's a surprise exotic. <laughs> so, you know, there's that. Could be, yep, definitely a surprise, but we'll see. What up, Skeletor? Johnny boy. So, anyways, um, so if you look at his pictures, I'm not going to show it to you now, but if you look at his pictures online of what Stovepipe is holding in his hand. So, each one of these guys, notice they have weapons in their hands, right? Kind of thing. So, if you look at his, he looks like he's holding the FAMAS. Well, he is holding, not the FAMAS, the F-2000, sorry. So he is holding the F-2000. Uh, it's not necessarily the sprint, the splinter, shi the shield splinter, but he is holding the the F-2000. So I figure for fun, uh, to give you guys a fun build to run, let's build literally a stovepipe build. So if we were stovepipe, if stovepipe was in the division two, well, he is sort of, right? But what would he be running if he had access to our gear? And then what we're going to do is uh, from there uh, decide and sort of assemble which um, what build I'm going to use. I tend to use headshot builds for uh, for the manhunt targets. I like uh, at least having the, the uh, nemesis around. It's kind of fun, a little bit more challenging for me. So, yeah, Dragon, I want to do it with the group. So if you're around tomorrow, um, I think 1030 my morning is a good time for you, right, in Thailand? You're basically like 12, 13 hours ahead, aren't, aren't you? Maybe even more. But um, yeah, so about 10, 30 loosely. So, you know, I'll probably start streaming, kind of get the crowd the crowd to roll in and, you know, just uh, get warmed up. And then we'll we'll get a four man group and uh, Vietnam. Thank you. And then we'll we'll run. So, yeah, you know, whatever casual, we're not going to have to we're not going to do any like races or anything. It's just just have a good time and watch the story and and um whatever so run whatever build you feel like running guys whoever wants to roll over with me tomorrow so i'll have i'll run a full four man group tomorrow so um okay so that's so let's start with an assault rifle build right so we're gonna i so f2000 that's gonna be mandatory because that's what he's holding in his hand in the picture so everything else is up to us and so uh the f i'm gonna use a shield splinter which is a named f2000 if you don't know how to get this you have to defeat all your uh division two hunters so um and then what is it guys like seven is it seven or eight ivory keys i can't remember now but you get all your ivory keys from defeating these hunters and then you open up this um 
chest right here and so and then that gives you this named weapon and then from that point forward uh this weapon never drops in the open world so i think the only way to get it is does cassie sell this or is this only crafting eight keys thank you grumpy okay yeah so it's eight keys and then you might be able to craft this one uh does that have two thousand no so it must be cassie so the only way to get a better one is cassie yeah cassie thanks guys it's been a while since i've seen cassie so she doesn't deserve my attention <laughs> no i kind of slowed down on cassie when i started to see that countdown vendor and cassie were selling dupes a lot so anyways you guys don't skip over the hunter fights it's a very fun and very unique part of the division two and uh you get this reward and then you also get the hunter killer chest when you defeat all of the new york hunters really great group activity to do also um uh, to do it in group um it's a fun thing if you're looking for an excuse to team up with people yeah uh, you know find some hunters uh hunter killers yeah and it can be kind of hard right it can be kind of hard because sometimes it's sort of not consistent on spawning the hunters you know you, there's usually something funny right like shoot this light and do 20 jumping jacks is something weird like that right and so make sure you're facing north you know so there's always, oh and it has to be five o'clock you know there's always these weird things like that so it's, it's not easy and then you do you know and you're standing there all day waiting for it to hit five o'clock and then it finally does and you do all your things and then nothing happens you know and then nothing happens so, so you know it, it can be a little bit of a frustrating experience but uh that's why it's nice if you have somebody who's done it before because they'll be like no you're doing all right you know you're not going crazy <laughs> so okay so um i figure we'll probably so optimist anyways that's what i was gonna tell you so this comes a perfectly optimist perfect optimist that is so you can get four percent increased damage for every 10 percent ammo missing from your mag so it's pretty powerful the weapon itself, uh, I'll showcase it on the, once I get the starter build together. But it's a, it's got a little bit of a a, 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 a tough kick to it on the F two thousand. I would say it's almost it's worse than the FAMAS in that regards, but very powerful and a great DPS if you can actually land your shots with it. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna want to keep that in mind. So I figure maybe we start with the like we normally do. I guess lately, is start with like a season eleven concept and then. That's what I think that's the best way to approach it. Let's start with the season 11 concept. And then from there, um, kind of evolve it to like the best version of the build. Um, I was thinking maybe um, putting on the perfect trauma chess piece. I was thinking about that if we were going to run wicked. But I think that you're blinding the target might not be bad here because we're going to have um so much damage why not to blind them and have some fun too <laughs> that's something the boss would do right annoy the hell out of you with some blind so the habsburg oh that kind of sucks to run the perfect one though doesn't it i mean that's an excuse to run, not run the ninja i guess um because then we could activate wicked let's see or concussion no we don't want two of those See if I have a good wicked. Oh, we got perfect creeping death, but we, we don't want to run two because we're not running a sniper. So let's see about um, probably a group or a Cheska back here. Well, blind gives gives bonus armor, so that's kind of nice. You can give bonus armor to your group every thirty seconds. But what, is that what he would do? I feel like he's more of a punisher. So I feel like, you know, maybe um, something on the damage end. So let's do Cheska with Wicked. I am a little torn because I'm thinking like probably, well, let's see here. But I was thinking probably uh, Striker go for speed on the F2000. We're definitely going to need the weapon handling um so let's put that one on first now but we could also go heartbreaker um even umbra so we'd have to that would consume all four slots that's kind of the 
it's really the perfect trauma that's that's holding us back but that shaves 10 seconds which is kind of a lot you know and and i take off explosive resistance and put on crits and then the headshot damage isn't bad because we have to hit the head anyways But if I take off the perfect one, then that opens up the ninja bike backpack and the build kind of gets more interesting. So we could put it on um, anything really like a bellstone. And then um, see if I have a bellstone that's available. Or a Fenris. Fenris would get weapon handling. Walker would be good too. Yeah, I mean, I wanted to use the perfect one, but the ninja, if to try to make a season 11 with the ninja bike in there it would be ideal and that's just not going to kick it in. Well, it kicks it in the wrong way. So there's a fender one. That'll work. That'll give us reload speed. We could use that. Uh, Petrov isn't bad. Uzina would give us survivability. See if I got one that would work. That one would. Oh, of course I'm full. How did that happen already? Move a couple of these pieces off. I don't think this thing takes um, the laser pointer. I think it's one of those. <laughs> it's one of those attitude type weapons. Okay, that should be enough for the moment, at least. Uh, okay, so that was a Uzina. That, that's in Uzina's interesting because that'll give us an additional 10% armor on kill, and then that pushes us to 20 total. Um, that's a nice, happy place to be, so we'll do that. All the way at the bottom, of course, isn't it? There it is. Okay, so we'll put... Uh, the blind talent there, trauma. And then let's put the ninja bike on here. So that allows me to only need three pieces of. Yeah, this is cool. This would be cool. So I can run three pieces of striker and then keep the one uh, piece of hot shots, which seems to be a regular <laughs> for us lately, right? But on this weapon, I think I like that a lot, especially, you know? So let me put on the blind talent real quick, trauma, and then we will give it a quick demonstration. Go take her for a spin. Uh, let's see, trauma, trauma, trauma. There we go. So 30 seconds, so it's gonna have 10 second longer cooldown. Um, I'm on Xbox. What's going on, Dark? Uh, Prince? Yeah, I do. I do. Uh, the last one we created with the Hunter Killer chest piece, I think, was actually an SMG build. It ended up being really cool. It was... Um... Oh, you know what? I think, yeah, that was that one. Kill them so fast that they poop their pants. It was that build. <laughs> let me let me just confirm, and then I'll drop you the link. That's a pretty fun one. There you go. Yeah, it is. Technically, I'm not running the um, the perfect version Hunter Killer, but just swap that chest piece for perfect. I decided to go for more crits, but that works. Okay, um, let's take a look. Let's see what kind of damage we're doing. So probably shotgun in the backup, easy, easy enough. We don't need on kill or anything like that. So we're using the blind, just the blind, basically. <laughs> right and so the idea is like kind of funny uh let's see where our crits rise and then yeah you see there's nowhere to put the laser pointer so yeah you can't do that so 32 93 so we can put a little bit of crit on 
and then the backpack what has got crit damage that should be right yep okay um and that should be crits right so there's uh, so we'll end up putting on gunner which will give us another 10 percent armor on kill so we're going to be at 20 percent armor on kill but uh if we decide not to do gunner then this opens up some possibilities so but for the backup we're probably going to want the acs shotgun just you know for quick stacking capabilities but the weapon is fast enough that we don't necessarily need this but you see that he's bleeding and all that fun stuff bleeding and blind So uh, it's going to be the last bullet, right? That's going to hold the most damage or the last few rounds. Six oh two. Six nine is that six ninety seven? Is that what I just saw? 622, 629. Can this thing hold a scope? Yeah, it can. With the weapon handling, I like that. 708. And then, let's see, what would we add? Skill wise, probably probably decoy. Eh. Actually we might want a shield on the right and then the decoy on the left. I, yeah, it's a shame to run. I, I sort of have mixed feelings about it, though. Like, I, I, I mean, what do you guys think? Don't you feel like it's kind of a shame? I mean, I've always felt like this about trauma. Like, to have trauma just not... I mean, it's great for PvP, like, to run trauma all by itself. Just, like, fine. That's great, you know? But in a PvE format, if you're not using it to, like... Activate something else. It seems kind of a sign that kind of pointless. It's a defensive mechanism, but it's it's not the talent that bothers me. It's obviously the cooldowns, right? So it's like, oh great, so it's helpful because it's a defensive mechanism, but you only get it for like one target every thirty seconds. And what if that target is somebody you don't need it on? You know what I'm saying? Like, what if it's just a weak little red guy and you shoot him in the head and the body? So you lose both of your <laughs> talent buffs. You know what I mean? I've always had kind of mixed feelings about that. Yeah, I have 2,000 base. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and so if you look at his uh, pictures, this dude is rocking the F2000. That's all we know about him so far. Let me see if I can find the, um, hold on a second. Well, so what do you guys think? I mean, should we, so there's two routes here. I mean, if we can keep, if we keep trauma, we could put on wicked. And then by doing that, we might as well run a different chest piece, right? Because we're not going to get the damage to, uh, or armor on kill anymore. Yeah, the patch notes, if you guys are wondering for tomorrow, they're really light. So basically, they're just uh, reverting the XP and then the gloves for the Twitch drop, you know, that, are, that aren't looking right. So just an XP, you know, they, they nerfed the XP. So that's basically the only update we're getting tomorrow that we know about. Yeah, a lot of downtime and no reward. Yeah, kind of agree with that. So.
we can't i mean i have to take off spotter but we can go fenris here instead or we could keep the same chest piece because if we lose this i'm just gonna put on four pieces just to show you let's see how much we like this weapon not so bad I think focus, right? What do you guys think? Yeah. Focus, baby. Perfect focus. Yeah. Yeah, I got an idea. I got an idea. Let's go focus. High high damage, crits, multipliers, high armor. That's what we want. Because bosses are always hella heavy, right? You know what I'm saying? So let's get like the best of both worlds. It's like, let's make ourselves heavy and then really strong. So take DPS. Tank DPS. With the F2000's talent, it should feel pretty good. So, um, I should have a... So, basically, what we're going to be looking at is like something like this. Uh, pristine example. So, pristine example has the best chest talent for assault rifles. If you're willing to put on a scope. And if you are, then you're very powerful. Because you get the 30% uh, headshot damage from the scope. Plus 60% multiplicative damage from the chest. And so what I'm going to do is go armor on that chest. Yeah, stovepipe. It does make me think tank too. That's funny. <laughs> the tank's cannon, huh? So I'm going to throw armor here. Yeah, I hear you, Diz. But, you know, you're probably only in a good spot right now because Xbox is really stable. So let's go ahead and put on... Um, Striker's backpack armor. Um, and then let's hold with the this chest for now. I mean, the coyote's mask for now, but I'm kind of thinking a Sawyer's knee pads actually. Kind of thinking that. Um, or even two piece hot shots would be good, but we don't have the space for it. The spice, the spice. Uh, okay, so we want high power, high armor. So that's striker we got. Can take it? Yeah. And then down here, can we take it? Armor? Yes. What's our crits at? 31. And I need it to be at uh, 49 or 50. I don't know if I want to use the Coyote's mask, but it's a placeholder. Because, I mean, if we wear this backpack, I'm trying to think, like, because we could also put on, I was also thinking the, uh, the Uzina mask, which we never, not the Uzina, um, God, what is it called? catharsis if we run a shield uh the vial would have been interesting by the way with that uh other talent but if we run a shield the catharsis is kind of interesting because then that gives it that's going to give us a nice heal on top of that um and 30 plus 30 percent weapon damage so that's a good little combo but if we have, the, but if we're, because we're in scope, if we kind of hold it steady, then this is also very interesting to run to Sawyer's, which is 30%, easy 30% weapon damage, right? And it's going to vary because you're going to move a little bit, but if we can hold down to four, which I think we end up doing with these types of things, we kind of, we move, but we plant it, clear a section, move, and we get the armor core anyways. So both of those are interesting. We could try both and just see which one we like better. It's a definitely a different look uh, to put an assault rifle paired up with these knee pads. Strong knee pads, but they give you those dumb health, that dumb health stat there, which I hate. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that. So what do we got here? 37, 104. It's not bad. It's not really a crit build. Um... 
So let's uh, change this one to crit chance. So it's, a, it's definitely picking up on the multiplicative damage here. Like the between these, all these three things are very strong. Let's see. Do you think we're gonna hit a million with this? Or as it is, I could probably add. I want to add more armor, but let's look at one point three real quick. Yeah, over a million right there. 1.1, 1. 1. 1. 1.2, 5, 1.3. <laughs> That's a beast. That's a beast. 1.4. It keeps going. 1.414. 1. 1. That's probably peak. And I'm out of ammo somehow. So that's kind of fun. That's kind of fun. Just park it for a little bit and you could. Yeah. Okay. Let's try this. Let's add more armor so we can push this down all the way down to probably 900,000. Not even notice a change in our time to kill. Um, let's load her up. 1.5 at least is good, but I'm going to push it to 1.7. We don't need to go all the way blue. We can, but this is fine. Let's do that. I think I needed something here. Moolah. Yeah. All right. And then we need a dealio here. Um, shield health. Yeah. And then last but not least, we got to change our specialization. That's why our weapon felt good. <laughs> That's because we had that stability control. But since we don't have any armor on kill, we're going to need to go gunner. Shotguns, assault rifles. All right. Now let's just do a quick uh, handling check. Yeah, Optimus, uh, it's all three things, Optimus. It's actually a very powerful combination, the three or four damage things here. So uh, five, really, if you consider that scope. I mean, when you put combine this with this set, these two things together, very powerful. Then you put the strongest chest with that, and then you put Optimus with that. And then it, with the weapon that's got a lot of DPS, I mean, it's all a very powerful combo. Then you got the, the extra scope there. It's crazy, right? So uh, first we got to build our stacks. But really, I'm just doing a... Um... Okay, we're going to need to pump this up. Dying too easy. Okay, and then stack. Yeah, so even 1.7 million armor, we're over a million. 1.1, 1.2. 1.207, million. Yeah, 1.3 million, almost 1.4 at one point. And that's just 1.7 million in armor. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like... The time to kill is so fast, like, you know, to take off the armor is just kind of like, yeah, you can, <laughs> you know, if you want to, you know, and maybe I would, maybe I'd take off one core, you know, but I think this is nice. It's a nice objective. Be like, look, you can and be happy with your time, the time to kill. Um, but I would be happier if I got to say, you know, if we were running something that was benefiting us to have all that armor. Um, such as like the memento and I'm like purposely avoiding it at the moment, <laughs> but the memento would give us all the crazy bonus armor to go with it. Right. But yeah, let's go give this a test and see how we do. What do we got? ARs, 511. All right.
Good run, Dark. I just read that. A few exotics in under an hour, right? Two capacitors. Wow. Yeah, sometimes people, you can go on a run. Doesn't happen to me very often. Uh, somebody was saying the other day they were in Capitol Building on Heroic. And they got like, just in the entrance, they kept getting, the doctor's home kept landing on it. Like back to back to back to back drops. And I'm like, wow. Yeah, I don't have that kind of experience anymore. It used to rain exotics back in the day. <laughs> In this game they used to like i mean on tuesday on reset day it was a big day uh so if you play the manhunts i would play the manhunts and and, and the you'd get they had more draw of a drop system instead of the cash system which they have now right and so we would just just play through the day just to take it all, all of our invaded and by the end of it i'd walk away with like six exotics So if you get rushed, just switch over to your shotgun. He's not coming out, is he? Oh, I hate when the decoy does that. Fuck. Guy not coming out. I'm sure a group is coming up behind me. They love to do that. Yep. So the good thing about running this much armor, though, is the shield. That's one thing I wouldn't let go of. I mean... Because that's the old, one of the main benefits you're getting from all that armor is a very strong shield. Come on, chicken shits. To your home base. Protect your base. Look at them all bottlenecked over there. Chicken shits. Oh, now you come out, huh? Come on, lady. God. Oh, thanks for the double reload right there. Welcome to the murder show. Standing there on purpose, by the way. <laughs> One, I'm testing the limits of the shield against their time to kill. How much damage I take. So we got no heals. Notice there's no regen or anything like that. So we have to kill the heal, of course. And we only got 10% of that. So if the if the decoy is too much of a pain in the butt, I'll just switch to a healer. Actually, I might even do that. I think that the decoy is... I'm too busy shooting and shit like that. To throw out the decoy all the time. In 
Incoming hostiles detected. It's suppressed really easy, huh? That grenade lands on me. Oh my god! <laughs> you see that that grenade came from like a different planet. Planet grenade, where things defy physics. God, they get suppressed so fucking easy. That's the distance you really want to play in. The weapon just doesn't have the handling to play deep. Ooh, hello boys. Where'd this guy come from? I hate how the foam changes your camera perspective. You guys ever notice that? It like actually like changes your angle of your camera. It sucks. I don't get the logic of it really. I mean, I get it if it blinds you because there's foam in your eyes, but changing the angle of my camera is annoying. Really annoying that they're shooting me from over there. Oh god, what's the double fucking reload? Oh my god. It was so hard to shoot him while I'm on fire. Yeah, the problem is really the enemies are are too chicken to come and get you, and then I get impatient, and I have to come and get them, you know what I mean? And that sort of defeats the purpose of the serious knee pads. But they, they, they sit there and just get suppressed for hours, and they never come in, you know what I mean? Like, defeats the purpose of these talents, some of these talents. It's like... I mean, it's sort of the weapon, too. Like... Because it can't, it doesn't have the reach, and so you know, or the time to kill at that distance, like a sniper would. So snipers are like, you know, really nice with those knees, because you can reach out and kill someone. Everybody ready. But my problem with it is like, I don't want to sit here for an hour waiting for that one NPC to get out of cover as I exhaust three mags at him because he's 
suppress so i'm like fuck it so then i get out of cover and then i and then i go and chase him down you know what i mean and then it defeats the purpose of the knee pads because he's they they don't come and get you you know they don't they don't really come and get you yeah it could be better in squad that's a good point maybe they're less likely to be suppressed in squad What up, Reaper? So the other thing we could do is, hey, Blue, what's up? Let's see you pop in there, Tony. So one of the things we could do is we could just try with the Coyote um, or the Catharsis, actually. The Catharsis wouldn't be bad. Let's see if we can do the Catharsis. Let's see if that works the way we're playing. So it's 30% weapon damage. It comes a little bit differently, right? But... This would at least allow me to move about more freely, freely, or play into kind of a shield strategy too. Either or. The ghost, ghosty. Haven't seen you in a while, man. What's going on? Tube, tubareo. Really? That's what stove fight means? That's interesting, Flex. I just read your... He said Flex uh, looked around the definition of stovepipe it, around information. It says, to be stovepiped is to be isolated in a way that hinders communication and cooperation with others. I never knew that. I just learned a new word. Vocabulary lesson. What up, Chris? <coughs> <coughs> Woo! Sneezing over here. Yeah, so if you're just not joining us, the first build that we're uh, working on right now is Stovepipe's build. So our target is Stovepipe. He could becomes unlocked tomorrow. You got to finish off Auntie, one of his captains, and then um, he becomes available. And so if you look at his photos, he's running the F2000. So thought it'd be fun to try to recreate a Stovepipe build. And we thought, like, hey, let's start off with something both powerful and tanky. And that's kind of what led us to this. Because, you know, bosses are usually high in armor and also hit really hard. So we're running the named F2000. And I'm running it with the scope so that I can use one of the strongest chests in the game, which is the Araldi pristine example. And given us that 60%... Increased total weapon damage, which is the best kind of total weapon damage you're looking for. Okay, so we want our shield to take damage with this one. Because that's how we're going to get our damage stacks and our heals. Which could get us some... Um... Oh, screw you guys. <laughs> Fucking fire. Oh, there's our heal. And so because we're running so much armor, there's a nice synergy in that heal, right? It's 10% of your armor back for, what is it? Oh my God, another one. Uh, it says, um, let's see, blah, 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 blah. 5% of max armor for 10 seconds. So 5% per second for 10 seconds. It's crazy. It's crazy strong. So you just gotta manage that shield. Behind us somewhere. We can move now, though, so that's good. I thought I saw somebody back here. Somebody's back here. Oh, there he is. Another heal. You see that? Ooh, that's coming out nice. It's coming out real nice. I feel like I'm getting more out of my armor this way. 
the stories knee pads would have been ideal but uh for, um they just they, they, if you're really patient then you're, you're good with the sawyers you know what i mean but i just i just can't stand there and wait for these dumb enemies to just get out of cover for you know it did take a half hour to clear a control point and playing like that it's npc behavior really and so we have this really strong shield so it's cool to let it take some damage give us damage So the mask is the meter on the very right. So we're about a little over halfway here. We don't have to stay still, which is nice. Yeah, it feels great. It feels great. It feels just right, actually. Oh, fuck. That hurt. <laughs> I mean, what, what kind of fucking shit is that, huh? Walked right into it somehow? That heals the shield up pretty good too, didn't it? Oh, you're not gonna like this at all. Give me that phone, buddy. over a million right there so it's playing out just like we wanted to which is uh we want to see lots of cycling on the healing right Ooh, that grenade is gonna hurt So it's healing the shield nicely. You see that too? Yeah, so the, like for me, like a bad um, catharsis build is when it doesn't, when it doesn't splurge a lot because that means that you're not getting a lot of action to the shield or to your, to your build, right? And so I, you either want to be able to hold that 30%, which is almost impossible because it's out of your control, or you want up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, you know, kind of gameplay. You want to, uh, which means you need to be able to have some sustainability to be able to handle those up, downs. Like right there, we got another heal. So yeah, that does mean your damage is fluctuating, but then you're getting the most out of it, though. So, you know, getting the 0 to 30, 0 to 30, but then you're getting your heals too. And we want those heals. Very helpful, as you can see in that last mission or little wave. Everybody. You know what we need? Omega suppressor. Yes. I'll readjust the crits later, but that's what we need. That's what we were missing. Land more shots. The Mega Suppressor is not a little thing, man. Don't sleep on the Omega. I put it on almost every build I can. 20% stability, I mean, just about every weapon can use that.
Bring it, bro. Bring it. Got our heals. You seen that? Lost our shield. That heal, let me look at how long it goes. We got a couple of dumps there, right? Let me look at this. Looking good. I mean, the shield eventually broke. Um, makes me kind of think maybe we add that additional blue core there. What do we add? Tier five? Yeah, you know. We'll take a look at that. Because on the damage side, we're good. We're good. Maybe just a little stronger shield just to be able to stand her longer. But it's because, I mean, it's it's a balance because it's really time to kill that's the sh that's allowing you to stand there right it's it's not really the the shield i mean it is a little bit the shield but it's more the time to kill right it is what was really working is we were killing them fast enough so that before they broke our shield but they'll eventually break it um i'm also thinking about you know which sharpshooter be better you know, do, do we get enough heals between our fixer and the mask that we don't really need the 10% armor on kill? I don't know. We're getting a lot of armor on kill, though, so it's hard to say. What the fuck? God, you're so fast. You're all so fast. Feels way better. I'm liking it. It's actually a fun build. Not a big fan of the F2000, but I'm liking this the setting. Dude, really? He broke out because he didn't. He was, he was taking too much damage. That's kind of bullshit, right? <laughs> the game was like, yeah, we'll give you the power to override it because you get angry at the bullets in the back of your head. Override enabled. <laughs> he pops out. Oops. Yeah, there's three traps. Negative. There's three traps. Did you catch that? Yeah, that's right, Mini. This is the shield. Right on. I'm glad you're, you're liking him. But yeah, this is the shield splinter. And uh, so it's a stovepipe build because he's holding a shield splinter and or he's holding an F2000. So I thought, let's keep that on theme. And this is actually a pretty unique build to be running. I mean, it's not like ultra original or anything like that, but you don't see this combination a lot, you know, and it's working and our damage is amazing. I mean, we're a juggernaut and i i'm thinking about a couple of things are we better off without gunner you know obviously gunner gives you ammo that's the only thing that i would consider a win at this stage but it's worth the shot because if we go if we're playing into the shield and we go firewall that's more damage off of the shield as well as better mods you know what i mean and so we're gonna be lacking armor kill but we're gonna get a stronger shield and more damage by pulling in more damage from the shield, right? That scalable damage, as a matter of fact, which is one of the only things in this game that does that. By pulling in scalable damage, we can add that last armor core without feeling like we lost anything. You know, we should feel the same way. Uh, and then even become potentially stronger when we have more than one enemy standing in front of us. Uh, which we like, because that means we're taking more damage. When we're taking more damage, we get more heals. And so that's, it's sort of a all working in concert that way, you know? So we're at the loss, of course, armor on kill and ammo. So we'd have to keep an eye on those things. But I think if we were the, between the fixer and the heals, I think we're good. And we'll just use an armor kit in between. It'll make, definitely make the build more interesting. Otherwise, we got Sharpshooter. Let's go try it. So Sharpshooter would give us 15% more weapon handling. That means more landed headshots. 
no other real gain outside of that the headshot damage buff is only available for rifles and marksmen, so we wouldn't get that but i think firewall would be the way to go on this one yeah yeah let's see if we can survive with it and then i'll add another blue core if i can hey matt what's up man i didn't see you pop in good to see you bro by the way the latest smg build that released this morning is pinned to the top of the chat and it could use your love help push it up there so more of the community gets a look and you could do that simply just by watching it commenting and hitting that like if you feel that it deserves it okay so crits wise we're at 3892 which is about right actually um i'm like so when you under 120 then i about try to balance my crits so like 40 80 um so we're basically there so i could probably pull this down maybe if i can uh one more crit chance mod but it doesn't look like i can um because all these pieces are probably locked in yeah they are and i'm gonna add armor there so we are where we are um oh i saw a bad mod hold on i thought i did weird okay um so we're gonna add this fireball is gonna give us more damage and a, a stronger shield i'll show you why in a second so let's just make sure we got shotguns we'll take off pistols and we'll put on assault rifles and it also gives you basically an armor kit that makes you immortal <laughs> you know what i mean so it really does it really does if you don't know the armor kit it's amazing you can take all sorts of damage when you, when you put that armor kit on um so what we're gonna do is switch over to the striker shield okay so and then what's great about this shield is that it gives you damage a bonus per enemy per enemy standing in front of you in the cone and we like standing in front of enemies so we could take uh, additional damage or shield health either or and so i look at that number and i say look at that number so you get about a hundred thousand more shield health that's one bullet <laughs> right that's literally one bullet more health so i take the additional damage i mean you can go either way no real wrong well it's only one percent damage but could be four or five depending on the enemy a uh, regen i do kind of like the regen um it's only three thousand but we need that to go as fast as possible so that we can continue to use it and then we're at five there plus you it's either this or basically health so and again same same thing with the health so so we get a stronger active regen than the default which is five and so and then well our shield is a tier five shield and so if we look at what it happens when we bump it up to six we're gonna get uh an additional what 10 percent regen 50 percent health so that's pretty good and then we're gonna get more damage we can get additional uh buff strength and holster regen also so tier six could be worth it <clears throat> especially since we're not losing any damage uh so on a 1v1 scenario we should be the same 1v multiple will be stronger than we currently are so yeah what can i tell you let's go have some fun oh you want to see what it can do in here first okay Yeah, we're getting a stovepipe uh, gets new. It's not some there's a debate on whether we're going to get a new exotic chest piece from stovepipe. It's not. I mean, we've been I was we were told by the devs that it's not. So I think it's an apparel item. I guess I got to heal up real quick. OK, cool. So that's full and then sometimes the um the shield doesn't work in here so we're not going to see that damage easily but we'll give it a try so 
So almost full. So 1.152. 1.188. So 1.2. Yeah, 1.188. So I'm not sure if the shield is working or not. So we can look here in a second. 1.2. Okay. Dropping the shield. Basically the same. Yep, it is the same. So the shield doesn't work in here. Okay, so that means we're missing basically 15% damage. It's like missing a red core, right? So you see that? 13%, but it's like missing a red core. So we're probably hitting, uh, I don't know what that's going to be. We'll see, but 1.3 when we're at full stacks. Yeah, my shield, I haven't added any proficiency. I don't use it enough to expertise this up. But it's a strong weapon. If it's your go-to, yeah, add the expertise. I don't use it enough, though. It's actually pretty rare I use it. It's not a bad weapon. It's not. Yeah, escape. We we um we just did that actually. Um, that build is pinned at the top of the chat. Literally this morning, got quite a few with the vector though. Striker with the vector is always nice. Yeah, I do like that. I like the speed on speed <laughs> concept. You know, also faster reloads with the handling, which allows you to chain kill. Sort of like the um. What do you call it? The chatterbox. You know, when you minimize those uh, reloads with like unwavering weapon handling or like um, fast hands, then, you know, you really get a nice chain kill effect, really. By a, like, we light the, your hands are so fast, you can't even see the reload, really. Here comes Mr. Riot Foam. Should we kill him first real quick? They always come at this angle that's horrible. I mean, fuck, right? Where are you little fucker? That's where they come in. I don't see you there. Double foamers, huh? We're a force to be reckoned with, boys. They're outside of our cone, too. They're not even in our cone. I'm just standing here to... <laughs> Take advantage of the heals. Force to be reckoned with. I'm telling you. <laughs> they don't want some of that cone. Cut. 
not out. Too bad they're so fucking fast. Too bad the game cheats, huh? Here comes a grenade. Ouch, buddy. Don't step in the cone. The cone of death. Alright, she's not gonna come out. I mean, they can't even get a shot off. But of course there's a group from coming from behind. So the other group is annoying back here. Gonna have to watch our ammo. Go get some. Somebody behind me. Oh, they're everywhere. Got surrounded. Oh, shit. I mean, the jump. Awesome. The guy upstairs has got to go. I'm sure he'll jump down as soon as I come up, though. No? All right. Turn on the turbo jets. Damn, even that guy runs faster than hell. 
I'm gonna write like a hate letter mail to the devs about that. I think that is so BS, you know what I mean? That they got levels of speed that are just ridiculous. That they outrun our bullets. Whiskey. I'm coming for you. That was quite a battle. A tough little fight they threw at me. <laughs> it's good though, we didn't go down once. You just had to manage your ammo a little bit, keep an eye on that, and then manage the shield. But I felt like we pushed it to its limits. A couple close calls. Kinda nice, huh? Yeah, I mean, that used to be a thing. I remember somebody tested it a long time ago, Ray, um, where one guy ran a no armor build and one guy ran a max armor build and then they raced. It's a really imperfect test though, of course, because there's a lot of variables like, uh microsecond your character you know because the character has a ramp up time when he runs you ever notice that you know, he starts off slow and he picks it up and so if you just don't get your ramp up as fast as the other guy then that could be like a 15 second lead i mean 15 foot lead you know but people have done it and they say the more armor you run the heavier your character is running with your pistol and without a pistol also and some some of it you just wonder is it just the animation that looks faster because your arms are moving where the assault rifle they're not but yeah we need an edge every edge we can take so i like that build it's got some really cool things going for it uh, one of the things I want to check on is let's let's put on the ninja bike now. That will get his headshot damage off of that chest piece. So let's grab this. I like this, but uh, let's play around. So I really wouldn't change anything here, but maybe we'll discover something neat, right? So um, let's put on just whatever striker, and then let's put on a ninja. You know, season 11 stuff. But one thing that we would gain here, honestly, is that handling could go a long ways. And the test here would be shots landed. You know what I mean? Shots landed. How much can they impact the build, really? Um, if I were to run this truly, though, I think we could probably get rid of the perfect talent here. I'll hold on to it for now. Get rid of the perfect one and then roll like a non-perfect one on a like a bellstone. Uh, like this one, maybe with crits, both crits instead. Um, yeah, like that one. Actually, let's go ahead and do that. And then we pick up more survivability, right? So we're going to get regen and 10% armor on kill. So there's a lot of more wins, a lot more creativity here. Uh, let's see, where's our crits at? So 22, 104. So we need to shift some things around here. So crit chance. 
quick chance. So 34104. This needs to be quick chance also. Cool. So, so, so we still got the main sources of power here. Uh, this is dropped to a red, which is, I guess, okay. But I want to keep the crit there. So that's sort of why I'm, uh, I'll be able to change it though. Um, so, but let's just go see if we like this version first. That'll be a cool build too. Um, it's got everything, right? So more damage from the shield, 30% uh, more handling plus a 20% stability that's that's a 50% stability push right there so a 75% stability um and then we get our armor on kill too with the regen so i like this i like this setup let's go see if we make it work Yeah, yeah, it's 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 on purpose. I mean, if you want to just um, hold still, then you can get the most out of your your focus chest. Play into a shield peak strategy. But when your time to kill is faster than the content can really handle, then it doesn't really matter. You don't really have to get anal about it. But in legendary, uh, uh, legendary or any mission, the content is so uh, stagnant and predictable that just hold it down in your favorite spot to take cover and clear the entire wave while in scope and never releasing your scope with focus. Yeah, you can do the shotgun. Yeah, I just, yeah, I kind of tend to, when I'm not running the full extra 100 stacks, it's I'm not really worried about it. That... But we do got faster. We got 30% weapon swap speed now. Maybe we can take advantage of that. I mean, this would actually be a really good legendary build. We can take it into legendary too. Like a lot of it for me is like personally i i don't like spending a lot of time on each individual control point and so i can't just stand there <laughs> and wait for them to come to me because they they just they take forever the npcs i have to push and even if i'm running a build that doesn't push i'll end up pushing anyways because i'm like i can't I, you guys are taking too long but if you had the patience then you would probably you want to hold it down but if you were holding it down, you probably wouldn't want to um, use this uh, specialization because they wouldn't be stepping into your uh, zone enough. You'd be killing them before they got to you. Yeah, so damage isn't really important to me. It's time to kill that's important to me. I know it sounds like the same thing, but it really isn't because um, a lot of people, when they think about damage, they just think about the number. But for me, when I think about damage, I also think about uh, the shots landed. And that's why uh, you see me uh, like I'm a big fan of weapon handling on my builds because shots landed i see i experience goes a long ways like i'm i'm happy with that time to kill you know what i mean i survived